What's up, what's up everybody? How's it going, how's it going? I'm outside having lunch at uh, one of my favorite new restaurants here in Houston. It's called Betsy's. Shout out to Betsy's. Here's some hot tea. So Betsy's right there, very cool. I got my girl Erica right there, right there. Little Debbie's right in front of me. You can't see her. Big Ben's right behind me. There's Big Ben. So I'm gonna try to do this new funny uh, little idea. Lunch, watch Dr. V eat. Some people, people are like so interested. Like how, how do you stay so skinny, Dr. Vaughn? What do you eat? Let me tell you, I'm not perfect. I'm not vegan. You don't need to be perfect. You don't need to be vegan. I'm not even vegetarian. I'm mostly pescatarian, but not always. I had a hamburger last night. That's all right too. These things happen. Um, but lesson number one, pay attention to your body. Pay attention to your body, okay? Because what I've come to realize is over the years, um, I've become more and more lactose intolerant. Now I tell you all that dairy, like I don't drink, drink milk because milk's pus water, etc. It's got a lot of hormones and steroids and stuff like that. But, um, uh, you know, occasionally I would have some cheese or, or whatever. Or, you know, there's, I've just realized I've, I'm, I'm really lactose intolerant um, more and more. And then the last six months or so, I've come to realize I'm uh, gluten intolerant. So I used to could eat pasta, spaghetti, and things like that. And it makes me look pregnant. I really bloat out, right? We're going to eat. We're just going to have a conversation. This is the... Oh, yeah, check out this restaurant. It's outside. I'm going to spin it around. There's outside seating. That's where you order. Oh, hold on. That's where you order. And then it's, it has this little, little, little park area. There's Ben. Say hi to Ben. Yep. Debbie. Yep. All right. And one of the things about Ben and Debbie is um, they're sharing a plate, right? So if you guys want to, like, try to eat healthier, you can share a plate. Check out these lights. It's cute. There's a park right behind us right over here. Yep, right there. So it's a pretty cool venue. So guess what I'm eating today? Now, keep in mind, this is my first video of Eat Lunch with Dr. V or Watch Dr. V Eat Lunch. So you know I'm going to pick something healthy. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's something healthy. So what am I eating today? What do you guys All think? right, so here we go. Drum roll. Oh, I wish I had the menu. I could read it. So, this they're calling this the garden salad. How beautiful does that look? So, it's got kale. I'm going to get up closer here. It's got kale. So, this green stuff, in case you guys don't know, if you're really bad, that's kale. You might not know that. <laughs> Some of you who are really, really bad, this is an orange. You might not know that either. Yes, you can put fruit in your vegetable, in your salads. That's fine, right? Uh, these are onions. They've been pickled. You can tell because they're pink. Pink means pickled. Um, and this black thing right there, that's right, black beans. And, hold on, what is this golden brown grainy looking thing? Anyone know what that is? That's right. That's quinoa spelled Q-U-I-N-Y-A. Q-U-I-N-Y-A. Quinoa. Right? It's delicious. It's a nice protein source. Now, let me tell you something that's really funny about this. Oh, it's an avocado for some good fats. So if anybody's trying the ketogenic diet, um, you could have this um, avocado. This would be an amazing ketogenic diet if you're trying to be keto. Okay? Now, uh, I'm not keto, but if you're if you eat the Dr. V diet, you're going to be eating a very low carb diet, which is, uh, is what you're after, okay? So, um, what did I want to say about quinoa? Okay, so I was ordering this uh, garden salad, and you're going to experience this, so pay attention now. My uh, cashier girl uh, said, um, Would you like to add any protein to this? Would you like to add any protein to your salad? Now, what is the problem with that question who knows that's right this salad already has protein in it so what has protein in it so the black beans have protein in it for sure for sure what else little debbie the quinoa the q u i n y it has protein it's a nice little protein source and what else has protein in here the kale yeah kale yeah it has it has protein right so what she meant to say is, do you want any animal protein? And you don't have to have animal protein. You don't. Um, real quick, and I'll jump off, but listen. The more complex of a creature that you eat, the fork just smacked me in the face. 
didn't like Dr. B. The more complex food, the more complex the creature is that you're eating, the longer it takes your body to digest. So by that I mean if you're going to eat a piece of like raw meat, like steak tartare, it will take you about five to seven days for that to make it through your system. So your mouth to your anus, <laughs> all y'all got one, um, is about 30 feet. Did you know that? From your mouth to your booty is about four, 30 feet of piping. And if you eat a piece of raw meat, um, it'll take about 30, uh, five to seven days for that to make it through your body, right? Now listen, pay attention now. If you left a piece of raw meat out in the sun, what would happen to it? What do you think, Ben? It would rot. And how soon would it rot? It would rot in three to four days. So it would probably rot that first day. I wouldn't eat it after that first day. But um, it will take five to seven days to make it through its way through your body. So guess what's happening during that process as your body is trying to break it down? That meat is rotting. And that's what's happening. And that's changing into you, okay? Now, if you eat cooked meats, which I do, that's fine. If you eat a cooked steak or cooked chicken or whatever, it will take um, about three to five days to make it through your body, all right? Three to five days to make it through your body. If you eat cooked vegetables, if you eat cooked vegetables, it will take about 24 hours to make it through your body. So in the digestive process, it's um, absorbing nutrients, it is uploading into your system, it's turning into the new you, it's giving you this awesome skin, skin color, skin tone, it's strengthening your fingernails, it's helping you uh, prevent hair loss, it's building your muscle. It, it can do that. This salad, um, you know, it, cooked vegetables will take one day. Now, if you eat raw vegetables, raw fruits and vegetables this salad raw fruits and vegetables vegetables will make it through your body in about six to eight hours which means your body's naturally designed to absorb all of the nutrients as quickly as possible from what from fruits and vegetables that's right from fruits and vegetables this is amazing if you eat a raw fruit, like a banana, it takes only about three hours for your body to digest. But think about that, because that's how we really evolved, was like we started by picking fruits off of trees. Um, so our body's designed to digest that quickly. Then we went into vegetables and stuff that we could root up and dig and grow, and then cultivation, plant, grow. It wasn't until much later that we could really catch animals and stuff like that, right? So don't believe what they tell you when they're talking about paleo diet, um, you don't have to eat a lot of animal products. Now, this is huge information. Who understands what I'm trying to say? How important it is what I'm saying to you. You do not want your food to sit undigested inside your body for a long time. Does that make sense? Because it will rot. Now, I like a good steak. I'm from Texas. I mean, come on, you know. But most of the time, your diet needs to consist primarily of uncooked fruits and vegetables, primarily, right? That's why green smoothies are powerful. That's why salads are powerful, right? And that's why dinner doesn't matter. Because if you can do that, you know, the salad, fruits and vegetables, your dinner's gonna be a nice, small dinner. All right, so let's try. <laughs> Get to eating, Dr. V. Quit your chatting. Let's see how this tastes, okay. Now, now, I said you got to pay attention to what's happening in your body. Now, one of the things I noticed when I was making green smoothies is oddly, when I used raw kale, it makes my mouth itch in my green smoothies. But cooked kale, I'm good with. I made a delicious cooked kale soup the other night with tomatoes and beans in it. It was really good soup. It doesn't bother me. So I'm curious to see if eating raw kale in a salad makes a difference. You have to pay attention. Or if it's kind of the emulsification process. That is delicious. It's a very, it's very lightly dressed. Let me show you the dressing. There's not, it's not drenching in dressing. It is a white dressing, but it's not ranch. It's some sort of house dressing they made. And here's what they did. Look, they put it at the bottom. Oh, man, this thing is so barely dressed. It is very dry. 
It's um, no, it's not a vinaigrette. It's a white dressing. It's mayonnaise base, which is fine. It's got it's very lemony, so they did something to it. Very tasty. The beans is nice. Balances it. So this is a perfect avocado. Nice in color. Mmm, not too ripe. It's perfect. The back beans are nice. I'm gonna take a bite with the back beans and the quinoa and the kale. Okay. Now. <coughs> pickled onions are awesome. That's good. No, this is not a ranch dressing. It's some sort of creamy dressing that they did, but it's very lightly dressed. It's fine. Listen, the problem's not the dressing, guys. Problem is not the dressing. The problem is your salads aren't big enough. You don't eat complex enough salads. Look at what's in this salad. Amazing. Kale, quinoa, black beans, oranges, avocados. Totally amazing. All right. Mm. All right. That's it. Hope you like this episode. Nope. Did not do 20 chews. So look, I put it down. Put my hands down. Chew in time. I'm not a sleep patient. Remember, if you have not seen my video on the eight steps of how to eat, look that up on YouTube. Um, it's really, really saved a lot of people. And listen, if you're struggling, if you're on a plateau, if you regain 10 pounds or 15 pounds or even 30 pounds, I promise you, if you will practice my eight steps to eating, just go to YouTube, look up eight steps, Dr. V's eight steps to eating. It will jumpstart you again because it slows you down. You really need to try to do that. Cool? All right. Love you guys very much. I'll see you on the next episode of Watch Dr. V Eat. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Dr. Vong here. If you loved that video, I hope you will check out Velocity2020.com. I want to meet you in person. This is my big annual conference in Vegas. It's amazing. It's not just about weight loss surgery, but it's about taking your life up to the next level. You're going to meet the best people, the best speakers, the best audience possible. You're going to really take your life up to the next level. 2020 is all about vision, clarity, and focus. We're going to show you how to find your vision, what you really want to do with your life, get crystal clear, clarity, and then find your laser focus to do what you need to do to have the amazing life that you deserve. Hope to see you there.